In this video, I'm going to give you some rank and rent digital real estate examples. I'm going to be showing you some of the assets and the projects that I have built. I'm going to be telling you how much money I have made from these assets, if I still own them, if I do, how much I'm currently making, and all of the details. So I'm going to be jumping right into this. Now, if you're somebody that is an old dog to the game, you've been doing this business model for a while, you've been consuming my content, and you like, hey, I already know what these websites look like, then maybe this isn't the video for you, but you, it, it might be interesting for you to see and hear the details of these deals. Uh, I'm going to explain and give you guys some of the things that I would have done differently if I'd still go into the niche, the city, et cetera. So I'm going to share my screen. We're going to get right into it and let's go. Okay, so I'm going to start here with this beauty. And I always joke about these websites because I always call them beauties or beaters or or dumpy or whatever, because they're not that great looking of websites. They're just not. They're very simple. And in a lot of cases, they're very ugly and just, I don't even know if I would want to tell anyone that I was the one that built it. However, we're not getting, guys, got to remember, we're not getting paid to be designers. We're not getting paid for pretty. We're getting paid per, for performance. We're getting paid for phone calls. We're getting paid for how many leads does this thing throw off? How well does it rank? For what keywords does it rank? How many, how many jobs can this produce? This first website I'm going to show you, it was the very, very, very first website I ever built. This is in 2016. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what the city to go into. I didn't know what niche to go into. I built this thing right here. And the funny thing is, I did everything wrong. I was guessing. I was whatever. I, I mean, looking back at this, there's so many things wrong with this website. But I, 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 luck, I got lucky and I picked the right city. I picked the right niche. And this website right here, as simple as this looks, powered by Weebly, um, has made me a lot of money. And what I did with this one is I built it. I made five, 600 bucks on this for I don't know how long. And then I eventually sold this website to another lead generator for $9,000. Um, so just to kind of give you an idea, these are real assets. This is the website, guys. You got a phone number. You got your <clears throat> Huntsville Towing Company. That's the, the name at the top. You got your quote form. You got some free images. These are all images that I put on here. This isn't even done that well. You got an extra quote form here that needs to be taken out. But this thing is a, a lead machine. It's got a couple service pages. Maybe it's only got one. I can't even remember. Let me go ahead and look at this. Yeah, one service page. And about, I mean, this is as basic as it comes. And again, this tracking number tracks the phone calls. This website right here, I have since sold for $9,000. I do not recommend towing in 2023. Um, the quality of the business owner, the caliber of the business owner, the saturation of the niche. I'm not a big fan. It's too low ticket. Even though it's high volume, I'm not into this. Although I did do it on accident and it worked. It's not something that I feel is that repeatable. But this is an example of the first website that I ever built. Okay, next website I want to show you. I'm going to switch these around. This one is called stgeorgeblockwall.com. Now, this was an interesting one. This is the website. I tried something different on this one. Um, I went to Fiverr and I got a logo made, which clearly they spent a ton of time on. They went and got some random spinning wheel and put it on here. But we got this logo. You know, we got this little thing right here. Um, I did it a little bit differently. And then what I did with this one is I actually, I landed the business owner. Because you guys, if you know my story, I started to pre-sell websites. I started to realize, hey, why am I waiting for people so why am I waiting for my website to rank when in fact I can literally just go sell this up front and let the business owner pay for it? And so with this one, I actually used photos from the business owner that I was working with and am working with. And no, I'm sorry, I've switched business owners since this first business owner that I worked with. Um, I said, Hey, give me some addresses of your projects. And I sent one of my team members out. They went and took photos. These are this one's not, uh, that one's not. These two are. Obviously, these are not, but we a few of these photos, those aren't. A few of these photos, this one is, that one might be. A few of these photos are actual jobs from my customers' projects, which I thought was kind of cool. I figured, hey, since it's in my backyard anyway, 
Why not? Okay, it looks like we only put a couple on. But anyway, this website right here, this one has made me, I got this deal in 2019. It's fluctuated. This is about mid-2019. It's fluctuated between uh, 1,500 at some points. The lowest that I've ever gotten for this website has been $1,000 per month. So we are we are close to 40,000 or even above $40,000 that I have made. Actually, it's definitely above $40,000 from this. So for those of you that don't think that Weebly works, uh, I'll show you the bank account. I'll show you the Stripe account. It definitely works. That's another example of a rank and rent website. I'll give you one more example. This is called St. George Artificial Grass. And this one's a little bit different. We, we used a platform called Duda. Kind of got a different bit of a vibe. Again, guys, Weebly, Wix, Duda, Word. It doesn't matter. The, the platform does not matter, but we made this uh, this website. Th these photos, this is actually the side of my house uh, that I, well, my house in the US. So we put some turf in and I decided to use some of, the, some of these photos. So anyway, guys, this is another example, but if you notice the commonalities, right? Phone number, tracking number, boom. Boom. The second thing you got to take note of is you got this thing called the instant quote form. Boom. 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 Some people, they don't, some people want to pick up the phone, call and get a quote. Some people do not want to talk to a human. They want to fill this out. And as soon as they fill this out, we're going to call them anyway. We're going to call them and say, hey, here's your instant quote. How can I help you? How much turf are you looking to get? Blah, blah, blah. You're looking to get a putting green. And we schedule an appointment and the business owner goes out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Guys, this is it. This is how simple these things are. Two of them are on Weebly. One of them is on Duda. There's probably, maybe you're watching this video and it's 2026 and there's like five other platforms out there. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Quit getting worked up. It doesn't need to be WordPress. We're going into local markets. We're going against people that don't know what they're doing. All you got to do is be better than the next guy and you will win this game. These are some examples of rank and rent websites. These are assets that have made me thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And imagine if I were to pull you off the street and say, hey, this little junker right here, check it out. You're like, yeah, it looks like like just kind of crappy. You're like, yeah, that thing's made me over $10,000, $15,000 total. And I sold it for nine grand. You say, no way, no way. Well, there is a way because I did it. Guys, these are the rank and rent assets, the rank and rent digital asset examples.